to equate to larger aerobic outputs. Also having a larger muscle mass allows males to fatigue less quickly than females and in essence allows the males to sustain an effort for a longer period of time. Oh, conclusions. What was the other one? Also having a larger muscle mass allows the males to fatigue less quickly than the females and in essence allows the males to sustain an effort for a longer period of time. Yeah. Conclusions. The result of the current study indicate that during arm ergometry, the subject group recorded their highest peak VO2 rise during the first time that they reached volitional exhaustion. Thus, a booster test did not produce high, higher mean peak VO2 arm ergometry rise. The, the VO2 peak 2 values were 0.56 lower and their, their VO2 peak 1 value. However, when looking more closely at the data, close to 50% of the group did improve their peak VO2 by as much as 16.17% during the booster test. Therefore, since 13 of the 28 subjects achieved greater VO2 peak 2 values after having two minutes of active recovery, it is possible that other individuals may benefit from having a booster test added to the peak VO2 arm ergometry protocol. Future research should focus on which type of able-bodied subjects such as wheelchair individuals would benefit from a booster test, as well as placing an emphasis on training specificity in regards to having subject pools consist of upper body athletes such as rowers, swimmers, and kayakers. Yes, rowers or legs. Swimmers, quite a bit of legs too. Kayakers. I think that's everything. And just uh, references and table. And we're not going to look at the table. We'll leave it there. All right. We're going to hold off on this. I'm going to listen to you 100 more times. And that took me almost 20 minutes to read. Dang.